Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to be talking about payment options for your shop. So we start from EasyWid. So on the on the main dashboard page, over in the left hand corner, you'll see payments, which is right there. Click on payments, and you'll come to this section here. Now this section we can do a cash on delivery which is already ticked normally and that's great if people are going to pick it up. Uh, you can set up PayPal which is which is fine. Um, a lot of people say from America or from overseas they use PayPal. Great use it go for it. At the moment we're going to use a different option called Stripe. Now Stripe is a really cool one which uses credit cards um, but it's very secure very good and it's all over the world as well so it's it handles all the payments for you. So to set that up, we go to choose uh, payment processor. And right at the top, you can see it says credit card Stripe. So we click on that and we get this. So it tells us a bit about it. So we want to connect with our Stripe account basically to make any of these. So Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Diners Club, any of these people can use their credit card to pay for your stuff. Um, so what we do is we just click on connect with Stripe. So this will open up the Stripe website um, and it'll give you an option to set up your account and activate it. So basically what that does is if you've already got a Stripe account, you can sign in up here. If you don't have a Stripe account and you've never had one before, then you make the account down here by filling out the info. So we'll go through it quickly. Uh, so where are you based? Basically, it wants to know the country that your business is based in. So mine's going to be New Zealand, but yours could be Hong Kong. Yours could be uh, the USA, India, wherever it is, pop your country in there. What is your business description? So mine are collectibles of DC and Marvel. Um, but basically, whatever your business is, put in a brief description about it. This is your business address. So basically you pop in your business online business address and now that is your website address. So that is GoDaddy address or your domain or wherever you're hosting your website, your Wix website, or wherever you're hosting this EC Wood shop, pop that address in there. Account details. Now we're looking at what type of business are you? I'm an individual and sole trader kind of thing. Uh, you could be a company, you could be a non-profit organization. Pick the one that best suits you. NZBN number, now that's a New Zealand thing. You can, it is optional and you can get a business number. So it's a New Zealand business number. But for your country, it might be something different. I know for the USA, it might be a tax number or whatever it is. Pop that in if it asks for it. Now your business address. Now they want to know where you're situated. So obviously where your business is. If it's a home address for your business, pop that in there. If it's a, um, an apartment somewhere or a block of buildings or whatever, pop that in as well. Basically for this one, who are you? Basically who is the individual or sole trader basically? So you pop in your legal name, uh, first and last, date of birth, so your home address there. So credit card statement details. So this is the information that appears on the customer's side of their statement. So on their credit card statement. So your business name, You, I have actually just got online store because it's coming from um, ECWID and I haven't set that up yet but you would want to have something like your business name so I could put uh, the Batcave contact support number now this is a number that will show on the statement as well um, so that's people can get in touch with you if they need to so pop that in now the bank account details basically you're wanting to put in the bank account details you wanted to get paid into so once stripe does all its stuff uh, and people pay with the credit card they'll process it all and then they'll pop it into your bank account so make sure you put it in there and then you confirm it again so you'll want to read the terms and conditions um basically it requests the uh, and authorized stripe to do direct debit from this account according to and click on that so you can have a read through and just make sure you know what you're signing up for and now we need to set up so pop in your email address and a password that you're going to remember and then just click on authorize access to this account once that is done you will be sent back to the ecwid website and stripe will have been added under here um, under your cash on delivery it'll show payments and it'll say stripe 
and you can enable it or disable it just exactly like cash on delivery with these buttons here. Awesome. That is how you set up a Stripe account and how you set it up to your shop. So every time that someone pays for something with credit card, Stripe will handle it all and then they'll process the payments and put it in your bank account.